Another amazing, outstanding, and fantastic feature in Liquid Edition 6, and one that people have been asking for for a long time, is multi-camera editing. And you guessed it, it comes in really handy when you're editing weddings. And who's that handsome devil over there? Always a groomsman, never a groom. Say lovey. All right. If I start crying, I might short-circuit my computer. So let's continue. This is your basic two-camera wedding shoot here, and look at that state-of-the-art piece of equipment down the back there. But what I wanted to point out was, down here on my timeline, you can see there's two markers. What I did was, starting with the background shot, I went through, and see that still camera guy right there? You know how they're always getting in the video guy shot. Well, I just maneuvered my play line to the point where I saw him move, and then I said, okay, I'm going to back up a step, and I'm looking for that flash I just saw. There it is. So now I right-click on this clip, and I set a marker which I've already done. Then I come to this shot, and of course it's already arranged, but there's the camera guy down the front there of my shot. I'll go through, and now there he is moving, so I back up and I'm looking for that flash. Real easy way to uh, sync up wedding shots. There it is right there. Right click on this clip, set a marker, which it already is, so it won't let me set it. It'll allow me to delete it. Don't want to do that. Here are my two clips over here sitting in the rack. I'm just going to drag across them to highlight them, and we could do this up to 16 cameras. So if I had 16 different angles, I could lock all these clips together, either based on time code values or markers or so on and so forth, mark in points, what have you. And now if I right click, you'll see there's something new here called multicam sync. Hey, look at that. If I click on that, mm, look at that brand new window. And basically, here are the clips that I've chosen to sync together. And now there's a choice to sync by time code, mark in, mark out, clip in, clip out, or first marker. I will choose first marker since that's what I use to lock these guys together down here on the timeline. Now I choose sync selected clips for multicam. It creates a sync clip. I'll say OK. Double click on that. There is that handsome gentleman again in the window. And now there's a couple new buttons we need to add to my toolbar over here. I'll just right click, go to customize, and then come over here to special. And here's what I'm looking for right here, multi-cam display. Click, drag, drop. I'll drag that gap off to pull my go to endpoint back up. And now you can see there's camera one and camera two. And you can see these guys are a little more active as compared to the other cameras that are grayed out because there's only two camera angles in my rack. So I could actually I could actually drag these guys over and add them to my toolbar. Get rid of the spaces. Say close. And now what I can do is activate multicam display. And now here's my multicam. And right now I've got two angles. I could right click and set it to 3x3. Three three, so that's nine angles. Or right click and go 4x4. Four four, that's 16. So I could have 16 cameras playing back simultaneously if I play. Well, let's go back to the full screen, or the larger screen. I'll back up here to the beginning. I'll clear that mark in, mark out. And now if I hit play, there's my two cameras sunk together. I can switch between them just by hitting the camera one and camera two buttons. I can also map these buttons to the keyboard. And notice as I switch between cameras, it puts a one or a two there. We'll go back to the wide shot. And one last close up, there he is. Hey, good luck, don't do it. And back to the wide shot. So there you go, there's a general idea of multi-cam sync, but you can see it is here in Liquid Edition version six.